There we go. Okay, Tony. Thank you. Um, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you. Good to morning. The appropriations. Good morning. I'd like to work welcome you to the appropriations meeting for Friday, April twenty second. Um, at this time, I would like to uh, recess for approximately fifteen minutes, and we reconvene at nine fifteen. So, um, thank you very much. Heather Bannister. Yes, she's there, but we're we're still um, on right now. We're just in recess. Back, I, know. So call it. I, know, I know. I just need to ask her a question. Um, Heather, can you develop a list that we can use as the basic list for um, uh, for implementer language, so that we'll add on to that list and we'll keep that list evergreen, so that we. Oh, that we write the dates uh, or the times that everybody has agreed to it because it has to be agreed to by three parties now. Yeah. So, uh, Kathy, so could have, uh, Kathy, so, you are yes. on. You are on. Could you please call Heather and have that conversation? Okay. I can't. I can't right now. If I'm going to stay on here. Okay. Well, then, we will. We will get to that uh, after the meeting. Okay. Because I think that's not a discussion that we have. Okay. I Please. hear what you're saying. We'll take care okay. of it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Tony, I just have a question. This yes, is Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, hi. Did we get a link to get off this meeting and get on a caucus? Uh, no, we did not plan on caucusing we were just going to go through the agenda okay okay thank you so much i just didn't i didn't want to miss anything <laughs> okay <laughs> thanks thank you i think i'll go dark for a few minutes <laughs> it's really nice out <laughs> i want to be outside so bad so yeah, finish. I was very briefly. <laughs> as soon as we uh, finish this, I got to get But it's like eating chocolate, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go out in the backyard and you're like, mm. <laughs> Call Kathy Austin. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Tony, I can't. I, Tony, I can't take the call. Tony, I can't take the call. No problem. That's why I. That's why I can't. I can't call anybody right now. I'm on Zoom on this, and that's the only thing I can be on. I'm on one device.
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Good morning Walker. Walker. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless us one and all. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Rep. Kulinski. Good, good to see you all. Good morning, Dave, Representative Dave. Some, oh, wow, you're outside. I know. There's an outside here. I feel yeah, like I live I, in a tunnel. I assessed when we were on recess, I assessed how lovely it was out here and thought, I haven't been outside since last weekend, and I'm going to enjoy a few minutes of fresh air. Yes, ma'am. Very good choice. Madam Administrator. Hello. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay. We'd like to, I'd like to call the Appropriations Committee to order. Um, and we have some bills to have to do some business with. And I know that we have the Senate going in. So uh, and I know there are a lot of people are also trying to do their, their, their real job. Um, right now, so I would like to try and get right into the business at hand. So um, I'd like to uh, ask my chair, does she have any comments to make this morning, Senator Austin? Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, pleasure to see you. I, I will remain off video uh, unless we're voting as I am driving up. Be careful on Route 2. They're watching for you, honey. <laughs> um, Rep, uh, Senator Miner. Good morning. Senator Miner. No. Represent oh, no. Representative France. Good morning. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, looking forward to so, it. Uh, so we start the meeting. Um, just an opening question for you, general question. Uh, there have been, obviously, the budget we voted out of committee as we go into these bills that are being referred. Uh, do we have agreement between, with the governor's office on what the final budget is yet, or is that still in negotiation? What's the status of that process? Right now, we're still, we're still in negotiation right now, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, that there, we have, because we have three revenue sources, it's, it's kind of a um, complex situation. You know that. So we're still trying to get some some things addressed that need to be addressed. So thank you very much. Understood, thank you. Okay. So I'd like to call, uh, going to um, Roman numeral three, bills for review. Item number one, Senate bill number 209, an act concerning the status of the probate court system employees. May I have a motion to JF? So moved, Senator Austin. Second Robin Porter. Porter. Second Robin Porter. Any comments? Representative France? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma Madam Chair. And uh, just one question on this. Uh, is this the cost of this um, bill uh, currently in the budget? Right now, uh, it is being negotiated and we are working on that. So it is a work in progress right now, but we are trying to uh, reduce the, the, in, the um, the fiscal note on this. Understood. So uh, for that reason, yeah, understood. I appreciate the answer. And for that reason, I will be a, a no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other comments? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Uh, Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Representative France. 
Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Baker. Representative Baker. Okay. Go right ahead, man. Okay. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes no. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Belinsky. Representative Baker votes yes. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I heard you. Thank, Thank you. you. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky. Representative votes Baker yes. votes yes. You can't hear me? Yes. <laughs> Representative Baker, we heard you. Thank you. I'll go just go around and I'll I'll come back again. I've heard. You're, okay. you're good, you're good, you're good. Madam Administrator, did you register Belinsky's vote? Yet? Not, yet, not yet, sir, so I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> so it's just the two of us, you and me. Representative oh. Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes nay. Thank you, sir. Thank Representative you. Candelaria. Um, Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Nice. Representative Delaney. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes no. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes no. Kennedy votes no. Thank you. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. One more time, please. Senator Kushner votes yes. Oh, Ma turn on your ca camera, please, uh, madam. There you go. Uh, I do have on. Yeah. I have it on and I'm lit up green. So I'm assuming you can hear me now. I don't know what's happening and why I can't see you. Hold on, hold on. There you are. Okay, gotcha now. Okay. Senator Kushner. Thank yeah. you. Got it. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser votes aye. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxembourg. 
Can you see me? Representative McCarty. Yes, I apologize, Madam Administrator, but I had to leave my home. Can you please tell me the bill number we're on? Absolutely. We're on item number one, Senate Bill 209. Yes, thank you, Madam Administrator. Um, Representative McCarty votes no. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'll return. Senator McCrory. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlok D'Amato. Pavlok D'Amato votes no. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Rosario. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield, in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. All right, I'm gonna go through this one more time because we've had, I know people have had connectivity issues. So is Senator Hartley with us? Represent, I'm sorry, Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes no. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Candelaria. Senator Chicarella. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Thank you, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Representative Gibson. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Haddad. Representative Paul, Joshua. Representative Luxembourg. Senator McCrory. Representative Reyes. Representative Rosario. Representative Sanchez. Yes. Representative Rosario votes yes. Ah, one more time so I can see you, sir. Representative Rosario votes yes. Thank you. Representative Sanchez. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Hi, Representative Tersiak votes yes. Sorry for the confusion. Thank you, sir. No problem. Um, uh, we will, at the end of the meeting, we will discuss uh, how long we'll leave the votes open, probably to the call of the Senate, but because um, I, I think everybody's having connectivity issues uh, in the worst way. Yeah, we're having a rough morning. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank yeah, you, Madam. Ma Madam Chair, I got six people with internet problems. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Next, number two, item number, Senate, uh, item number two, Senate bill number 426. <laughs> Act concerning false claims and other prohibited acts. May I have a motion? Senator Austin makes that motion. Nolan second. Have, Nolan second. Are there any questions on the bill? A representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, so I, while I acknowledge that this particular bill is contained within the Attorney General's portion of the budget, uh, the, this is one area, while well, we're not policy driven, but this is one area of many that uh, the reason I voted against the budget out of committee 
uh, and uh, therefore with consistency, I will be a no on this particular bill. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, sir. Uh, Representative Datham. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, just a couple of technical questions on the bill. Um, for just wanted to verify right now under Connecticut law, um, we uh, carve out for Connecticut's False Claims Act. We um, uh, wait. I, I, I'm sorry. Let me let me just say we're talking about the budget itself. We're not talking about the bill, the uh, underlying bill. So make sure that you're talking about the the actual actually the funding of the bill. Okay. Got it. So I can't ask questions on the technical aspect of the bill. No, ma'am. Um, I have some concerns as a CPA about how this affects um, on the technicalities of the bill. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to vote no, um, just to raise a flag on those to see if we can work through them. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Senator Minor. Uh, good morning, Madam Chairman. Good so morning. My question with regard to its impact on the budget is uh, because the language of the bill just were uh, brackets out the uh, current statutes, what I would call uh, limited scope. Uh, am I correct that this could well include um, impacts that may require um, an agency to expend money in defense of uh, some claim or procedure? I, let's see, this is, a, this is a judicial, judicial bill. Uh, Senator, Senator Winfield. Yeah, Madam Chair, I don't, I'm uh, at a disadvantage here. <laughs> yeah, I know, you're driving, you're driving. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, so, 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 rather, uh, so, so this so, is, this is Excuse me. Wait, wait. Senator, My Sen Senator Austin, one second. Let Senator Minor finish his, his question, please. Senator so, Minor. So I guess what I'm thinking, given uh, the current situation, which is kind of where we are, people are scattered across the state trying to get in for session in some cases. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm inclined to vote no. Uh, I've looked at the fiscal note. I'm not sure the fiscal note uh, really does contemplate all the possibilities now that the brackets seem to make this unending. Uh, it seems to me that it could include false statements with regard to payroll of state employees. It could include uh, false statements with regard to purchases made by state employees. And therefore, I think under a lot of circumstances, um, uh, the state would be compelled uh, to get involved agency by agency. And so uh, for today, I'll be a no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Minor. Um, I did get information that the AG would collaborate with the agencies to hold regulated entities accountable. But um, it for, for flagging, go right ahead, Senator. Representative well, it's not really for flagging, uh, mm -hmm. I'm Madam sorry. Chairman. I think it's, it's a significantly broader scope and I'm, I'm sure the AG intends to work collaboratively with agencies to make vendors accountable. Mm -hmm. uh, the question I have is to what extent the AG's office is going to make the state accountable, uh, knowing that we have had circumstances of abuse within uh, state agencies as well. And so in those cases, I think the state agencies shouldn't be collaborated with. Uh, I mean, I can get into some detail, but I guess I'll wait until later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Representative Johnson. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm voting in strong support of this. It will help the Attorney General address uh, the problems with fraud and abuse, and it will also uh, represent the state. So it won't be working against the state. It the Attorney General's office represents the state. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam. Re Senator Austin. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, I just uh, uh, would like to say relative to this bill uh, that the issues that people have been bringing up uh, will be discussed afterwards that this bill would still be a work in progress. 
Thank you very much. But the dollars relative to what we have been told is the uh, fiscal note are in the budget. Correct. Thank you, ma'am. If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Harley, please. Senator Hartley, I'm sorry. Senator Hartley? Representative Dathan? Uh, Representative Dathan votes no. Representative Nolan? It's a Margaret Avenue. Uh, Representative okay. Nolan's in the affirmative for the debate. Senator Minor? Senator Minor votes no. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes negative or no. Representative Belinsky. No. Representative Belinsky votes nay. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes in the affirmative. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Gonzalez vote yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes no. One more time. Representative Howard, one more time for me. Oh, golly. Okay. Come back to you, Representative Howard. I heard you, but I couldn't see you. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes no. Kennedy votes no. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Madam Administrator? Yes. Senator Lester votes yes. Can't see you, sir. Senator Lester votes yes. Thank you. Representative Luxembourg. Representative McCarty. Senator McCrory. I'll come back to Senator McCrory. He needs to be admitted. Um, Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlok Damada. Representative Pavlok Damada. 
Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. I'm going to take a break because I see Representative Howard, and while I can see him, I'm going to grab him. So, Representative Howard. Thank you, Sue. I'm sorry about that. Representative Howard, like to vote no on 426. Sure. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario also votes in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Rep Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Representative Terciak. Representative Terciak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. Senator McCrory. Good morning, Susan. Senator McCrory votes yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Senator Anwar votes yes. I think I may have missed it. Yes, thank you, Senator Anwar. Anyone else needing to cast a vote? If not, thank you, Madam Chair. How many votes did we have today, Susan? We, 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 we've had one vote, and we'll get catch up with you at the end of the, the agenda, okay? Thank you, okay, sir. Okay, great. great. Uh, yeah. Next, item number three, substitute for Senate Bill 417. File 447, an act concerning amnesty for non-fraudulent unemployment overpayments. Uh, it is a JF. May I have a motion? Senator Austin makes that motion. Thank you. Reporter. Reporter is uh, voting um, in, in seconding it. Are there any comments or questions? Representative Dathan. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. I just wanted to find out if this was included in the budget. Uh, at this current time, no, it is a work in progress. We are working on it with the um, with the speaker's office and the Senate pro tem on this issue. Great. Um, I will vote yes for the bill, but I do hope to see it included um, within the budget. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, I will be uh, voting no since it's not contained in the budget. While I acknowledge there are uh, issues related to unemployment, uh, payments that were made uh, through uh, no fault of the individual uh, mm -hmm. for various reasons. This is a concern, but uh, <clears throat> it is a significant fiscal note that uh, is not currently contained in the budget. And for that reason, I will vote no. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are there any more comments or questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Hartley. Representative Dayton. Representative Dayton votes yes. Representative Nolan. Nolan, Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes no. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes no. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes nay. Representative Candelaria. Representative Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Representative Dillon. 
Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes no. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes no. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Well, Sen Senator Lesser votes yes. I, I think she votes yes. yet, so hold that thought. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Thank you, ma'am. Senator Lesser. Sorry about that, Madam Administrator. Senator Lesser votes yes. Thank you, sir. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxembourg. Representative McCarty. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes yes. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlok Tomato. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. And Representative Rosario in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. One more time, please. Representative Ryan votes <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Sanchez. Rep Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. I need your camera on, please, sir. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Thank you. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Got you. Thank you. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield, any affirmative? Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. Thank you. Anyone wanting to cast a vote who hasn't yet done so? Madam Administrator. Representative, Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Thank you, ma'am. Rep Rep Representative Baker votes yes. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Uh, Susan, is this um, item number um, four? This item is number item number four. Yes, uh, Representative Dayton votes yes. What? No, no, no. This is not item number four. I mean, I'm sorry, item number three. Item number three. On three. Sorry. On three. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I said that. It's okay. Anyone else? <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, number four, item number four, substitute for House Bill number 5272, file number 468, an act concerning menstrual products. May I, uh, this item is JJF. Second. 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 It's been moved by a representative <laughs> Nolan and seconded by a representative Dylan, I believe. 
Um, are there any comments or questions on the item? Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. I have two questions. First, uh, are the costs of this uh, bill uh, currently in the budget? Yes. Second uh, this question in its current uh, form, does this uh, create a mandate on our towns for costs that would uh, beyond what the state would recur? Uh, no, the, the item, the money that is in the budget is going to the towns for the dispenses and um, so that we can uh, lessen the, the impact in the community. Okay, so it is currently in the budget Yes. Uh, as, as formed and the mandate that would go to the towns is funded by that money in the budget going to the towns. Yes, it's within available appropriations, the amount that we have in there. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Based on that, those answers, I'll support the bill out of committee. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, are there any other comments or questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Rasta. Senator Rasta votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. I didn't see you for some reason. You don't see me? No, I do. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm having technical difficulties as well this morning, Madam Chair, with my, ball, with, my, <clears throat> with my palsied eye. Um, Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Representative France. Representative France votes yes. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Betts. Representative, Representative Baker votes yes. And Representative Betts votes yes. Thank you both. Representative Belinsky. Uh, Representative Belinsky votes yes, knowing it's in the budget. Representative Candelaria. Representative Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Uh, Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. One more time for me. Representative Felipe votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer passes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. <laughs> Representative Johnson. Hi, Representative Johnson votes yes. Sorry, I had trouble logging back. That's okay. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser votes yes. 
Oh, one more time. Senator Lester votes yes. Thank you. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. One more time. Senator Lopes votes yes. Thank you. Representative Luxembourg. Representative McCarty. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes yes. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlak D'Amato. Pavlak D'Amato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. <laughs> Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Rep Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes yes. Senator Flexer, would you like to vote now or would you like to wait? I would like to wait. Thank you, Madam Chair. You are welcome. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, next, item number five, substitute for House Bill number three, 5372, uh, filed 493, an act concerning periodic behavioral health assessments, police officer recruitment, school resource officers reporting violations to the police officer standards and standards and training council investigations by the inspector general and minimum and operation of law enforcement units. May I have a motion? So moved. It's been moved. May I have a second? Second. A red quarter. Okay. The item has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Representative France. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, just one, one question. Is this the cost of this bill contained within the budget? Uh, no, I, uh, some of the items have not been covered yet in the budget, but we are working on it. We plan to address those. Thank you. Thank you. I, and while I agree with the, the policy and the intent is there uh, that is contained in this bill, uh, I think the uh, based on the fact that it's not currently in the budget, still in negotiation, I'll be able to vote, voting no. Thank you. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll, we'll cover those costs. Thank you. Rep uh, Senator Minor. Senator Minor. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. I'm just trying to work the buttons. So um, am I correct that the total fiscal note projected at this point is, I guess it's 221 plus 144 plus 58, something less than about $500,000, if someone knows the answer to that question. Uh Currently, yes, sir. Um, there, there are some questions about some positions and we're trying to get those uh, addressed, but we are working on the, the fiscal note. And, and so if I could just one follow up question sure. in terms of where they might be in the budget, um, would, they, would they be currently or are they expected to be in a continuing line item within the budget? Um, I'm sorry, I cannot, I, I don't know that one. Senator Austin. Uh, thank you. The positions would be continuing, uh, Senator Minor. Uh, any of the positions on any of the bills that are added in here, unless specifically outlined as temporary or durational, uh, would be considered ongoing costs through you, Madam President, Madam thank Chair. You. Thank you. So uh, while I intended that to be my last question, 
the response was that they would be continuing budgetary expenses. I, I can appreciate that response. My question is, as the budget is being constructed, are they are they currently anticipated to be constructed with continuing revenue? That being a line item in the budget. Senator Austin. Uh, thank you very much, um, Senator Miner, and through and through you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, uh, positions uh, that are relative to any of the bills that we have had are in the general fund part of the budget. Uh, through you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Senator Miner. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I, I thank the, the uh, co-chair's response. I you know I think this is a very important public policy issue for the state of Connecticut. And the reason for my question was that even though it hasn't been completely resolved yet, given the limited scope of the fiscal note, um, I would be voting yes today. And given the explanation of its funding, uh, I'm confident that um, as this discussion goes on, it will become a general fund item as opposed to a carry forward one time one shot deal um, because they are they are significant matters before the state that will have follow on costs. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes yes. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Okay. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Dorothy Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Uh, Representative Betts passes for the moment. Okay. Representative Belitsky. Rep Belitsky votes in the affirmative. Representative Candelaria. Rep Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer passes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. So sorry. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes yes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. One more time. 
I have a glitch here. Oh, there you go. Senator Lopes votes yes. Thank you. Representative Luxembourg. Representative McCarty. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes yes. Representative Paris. Representative Paris. Hmm. Representative Pavelek D'Amato. This is 5372, correct? That's correct. Pavelek D'Amato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes also votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Thank you. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes yes. Favor themselves with 22 of the state's 26 um, districts. <laughs> Yes, please. Uh, uh, Representative Betts votes yes. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. Senator Flexer, would you like to cast your vote now or wait? I'm happy to wait. Thank you. Thank you. Senator, uh, Senator would you Summers? Like, would you like to vote or would you like to wait? Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, item number six, substitute for House Bill number 5393, an act, uh, file number 508, an act concerning court operations. This is a JF. May I have a motion? So Representative Nathan. Second, okay. Representative Candelaria. Thank you. Are there any questions? Sen um, so, uh, Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. Just one question. Uh, is this uh, policy contained within the budget? Uh, currently, currently, all expenses are not contained in the budget, but we are working on it. We expect to get those accomplished. Thank you. For, for that reason, uh, while I agree uh, with the policy, I will be voting no, uh, since it's not currently contained in the budget, and hopefully there will be funds found. Thank you. Thank you, sir. If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Representative Baker. Representative Baker. Senator Anwar Representative will... Baker votes yes. All right, Senator Anwar, I'll take your vote. Yeah, thank you. How would you like to vote, sir? I vote yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Betts. Representative Betts. 
Representative Polinsky. I'm sorry, yeah, Madam Administrator. Representative Betts votes no. Thank you, sir. Representative Polinsky. Representative Polinsky votes nay. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. One more time, please. Candelaria votes yes. Thank you. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Uh, Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Sorry, Madam Administrator, I'm all set. Okay. Representative Gibson. Representative Gibson votes yes. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy. Is a no today with the hope that those funds are put into this bill. Thank you. Senator Kushner. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser. Can you hear me, Sue? I'm sorry, Susan, it took me a minute to get off. It's Senator Kushner. Okay, gotcha. Okay, how would you like to vote, ma'am? I'm Senator Kushner votes yes. Um, Thank you. Senator Lesser. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. One more time. Senator Lopes votes yes. Ugh. Eventually, I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Rep Representative McCarty passes. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes yes. Representative Paris. Representative Pavlok D'Amato. Pavlok D'Amato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes. <clears throat> Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario on the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Rep uh, Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zalistowski. Representative Zalistowski votes no. Representative McCarty, would you like to vote now or would you prefer to vote later? Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, Madam Administrator, because I was at the doctor's and I didn't know the bill number we were currently voting on. Item, item number six, House Bill 5393. 
court operations? You certainly um, can wait, ma'am. Yeah, you can wait. I'll, I'll wait if you don't mind, thank you. No, no problem. Fine. Representative Howard. Thank you. Uh, Representative Howard votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on to item number seven, substitute for House Bill 5283, five, filed 469, an act concerning the education cost sharing grant formula and the funding of other educational programs. May I have a motion? Representative Jason. Second. Represent. It's been moved by rep first by Representative Datham and seconded by Representative Sims. Uh, Representative Hall. Um, if my ranking member has no questions, um, I just have a quick question on the town runs. Do we have the town runs on the education cost sharing grant yet? Um, Representative mm -hmm. Curry? Or, uh, yes. or Senator Senator um, McCory. I, I can go ahead and take that if you want, Madam Chair. Okay, Representative Curry. Yep, uh, so the fiscal note that was posted to the system um, uh, is being updated currently due to the amendment that was filed to clarify. So the town runs um, are not have not yet been released on what the language uh, in 5283 will be. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Representative Curry. I appreciate that answer. I'll probably be a no until we see those runs. So thank you. Thank you. And, just, and Madam Chair, if I might just clarify, one of yes. the um, misinterpretations in that was with regards to current law and the ECS phase out. And it was noted that we, that was speeding up and that was incorrect. So for anybody who saw those um, and has a community in which those were phased out in the 2017 agreement, those go unchanged. Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Senator Minor. Uh, Thank you, Madam Chair, and good morning. So, uh, is is it uh, is it the case that the dollars for this line item uh, would be in the budget as general fund? Um, if the uh, once we settle on the bottom line, yes, it would be in the general fund but we are still working on that. Um, so through you then, um, it is possible that through the negotiations, the language that we're looking at, the language that Representative Curry spoke of um, might change uh, depending on how those negotiations go. Representative Curry? I'm sorry, would uh, the good Senator please repeat that question? Sure. So uh, if I understood your um, answer correctly, there was an there is an amendment and, and the impact of that will leave municipalities unchanged for the upcoming fiscal year, uh, at least to the negative side. Um, what I heard the good chair say is that it's still subject to negotiations in terms of how that will be funded is that your understanding? So it may not actually be fully funded under the general fund. Well, so, cur cur well, let me clarify. So the way in which the bill is currently written, the um, financial impact uh, setting aside the governor's corrections, which is the one point, uh, whatever change you see savings, uh, the corrections to the ECS formula, the major impact would not take place until fiscal year 25 which is when you see uh, the policy put in place for all public schools, including the speed up of the phase in of those districts who would see the increase who are currently underfunded. I'm not sure, if, does that answer your question? Well, it, it does. And so my assumption is that if that's the language that ultimately is the language of the day, the fiscal implications of that language would are, they appear to be costing more money uh, than what might have been previously anticipated in the governor's budget and therefore um, supporting this based on the budget reflection. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with your explanation. Thank you. 
I'm I'm fearful that um, I'm fearful that uh, this negotiation is really out of the control of most of us, and that uh, a yes vote today is is somehow or could be construed uh, that it's okay to fund it out of something other than general fund, and and so. Uh, my intention is to support it today, but my hope is that it's a, that it's truly funded all within the general fund. I think to to create the specter of false hope with municipalities that are only going to be forced to pass that cost on to their taxpayers is is really kind of a uh, I'll use the word rotten, but it's not. It's, I know it's not the intention of the chairs, but I I just think we're along in this process far enough that we that we ought not to be doing that sort of thing of one-time funding something like municipal aid. So thank you. Thank you, Senator Minor, and we all concur with you on that. Representative McCarty. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. And I just wanted to uh, offer a comment on this particular proposal that uh, with some foresight, there is a task force, <clears throat> excuse me, that will look at this funding again, and there'll be uh, a, enough conversation about how this funding impacts our district. So I have confidence that that uh, task force will come back with uh, any form of recommendations and that task force will be in place prior to this uh, major portion of this bill being implemented. So uh, I am favorable for this uh, proposal today. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Are there any other questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. <clears throat> Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan votes in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes yes. Senator uh, Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Baker votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Betts passes. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes nay to one time dollars creating permanent liabilities. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Uh, Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Representative Dillon. Madam Administrator, I was thrown off the call. Could you tell me which item we're voting on? Certainly, it's item number seven, House Bill 5283. Dillon votes yes. Thank you. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gibson votes yes. Uh, one more time, sir, so I can scare one more time. Representative Gibson votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall will be a no until we see the impact on our towns. Thank you. Representative Joshua Hall. 
Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no until we see the impact on our towns. Thank you. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes no. One more time, sir. Certainly. Representative Howard votes no. Thank you. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Kennedy votes yes. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. One more time, please. Senator Kushner votes yes. Thank you. Senator Lesser. Senator Lopes. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes yes. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory is a yes. Representative Harris. Representative Pavlok D'Amato. Uh, I'll have to pass for now. Okay. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Rep Sanchez votes yes. One more time, please. Rep Sanchez votes yes. Thank you. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Senator Summers votes yes. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. One more time, please. Representative Wilson votes no. Thank you, sir. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. Representative Betts, would you like to vote now? I would, and Representative Betts votes no until we know the impact. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else needing to cast their vote? Okay, thank no. you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam. Um, number eight, item number, uh, House Bill number 5465, file 462, an act increasing early childhood educator salaries and expanding child care opportunities for families. May I have a little move by uh, first by uh, Representative Porter and seconded by uh, uh, Rep. Nolan, I guess. Okay. Uh, are there any questions? Yes, Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. There's a question. Uh, how is this uh, funded within the budget? Currently, right now, we have uh, $74 uh, million, uh, for child care support wages, $20 million for our, um, in ARPA to do expanded seats in infant toddler and um, 10 million for care for kids. We are trying to move all of this into the general fund, but we are not, we're still working on this. So this is a work in progress. It is a good bill and I hope we will support it as we go forward with this because we need more childcare in the state. Represent, oh, sorry, Representative France, do you have any more questions? Thank you, thank you for that answer. I, I appreciate uh, the attendance. So setting aside the policy, I uh, agree or disagree with the policy. I agree there is a need uh, for additional uh, resources within the child care community because it's currently funded. Uh, I cannot support it because these are ongoing expenses with one-time revenue. I hope we are able to, as you state, move it within the general fund uh, so that remains under the cap and is a recurring expense uh, that can be borne uh, within that constraint in the general fund. Thank you, Madam Chair. 
Thank you, sir. And I agree with you. It's extremely critical right now. Representative Nolan. And I was actually going to say the same thing, an extremely critical uh, situation that we have our child care uh, educators and child care uh, family, people that are need, in need of child care. Um, so I'm uh, in full support of this. And I'm Thank hoping you. to see it elevate um, into our into the board. Thank you. Rep uh, Senator Minor. Thank you, Madam Chair. I apologize. I didn't. I did not uh, get the full answer uh, that was given to Representative France mm -hmm. with regard to how much money is in the budget and how much money is coming from one-time revenues. Right, right now, right now we have currently we have seventy-four million uh, to support childcare, uh, providing wages to increase that the wages at least by two dollars. But then we also have $20 million in ARPA funds to expand infant child, infant toddler seats and 10 million for care for kids. We are working on trying to move all of them into the general fund. Um, we are, this is, this is one of the more critical issues, I think. And I expect that we will make that, that um, completion. So it's all in the general fund because it's an ongoing expense, which we all, all need to commit to. Thank you, sir. And so um, the 74 million is in the general fund budget and that is what was reported out of the appropriations committee. The, the 74, 50 of it is in the general, 20 is still in ARPA and we are in the process of moving that over also. Um, you know, uh, Madam Chair for, you know, 150,000, uh, something less than a million today, uh, you know, those, those seem to me to be achievable given the uh, magnitude of our budget and the magnitude of uh, the gap between where I think the appropriations budget was left and the cap, which I think was somewhere around 6 million, maybe a little bit more. Uh, this is an extraordinary amount of money uh, that is currently sitting outside the cap uh, that is currently sitting in one-time expenditures and every single one of these things, whether it's a wage uh, or a seat for a child, uh, you name it in this proposal, is, is, um, runs the risk of somehow being misunderstood uh, if we don't make sure that's in an ongoing expenditure. Uh, so I'm inclined to vote no today because the answers I've gotten uh, are even if we had the money in the general fund with the found revenue, uh, it's going to exceed the cap, which I think is going to kind of blow the whole mission of where we were a number of years ago in trying to stabilize our budget. So uh, unfortunately, I'm a no on this one, uh, but I am very much in support of the concept. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I, I, I appreciate your, your comments. We all agree that it's very critical and we were surprised that it wasn't included in the original budget that was presented to us by the governor. So the purpose is to try and rectify that, that situation in making those changes. So um, we have every intention of addressing it. Uh, I misspoke, it is in carry forward right now and it is, we are moving it over to the general fund. Well, so thank you, Madam uh, Chairman. And I, you know, I can be just as critical of the governor as the next person. Um, I, I just think that this is an area where we need to be absolutely crystal clear with the public as to what we're doing. Yes. And right now we're not crystal clear. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Representative Kennedy. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I appreciate your answer. Um, you know, I'm not really a big, huge fan sometimes of work in progress, but I know that you're going to do everything in your power to make sure that these funds are transferred. So today I will be a no as we continue to work towards this, but I do recognize how critical this is. And I do hope that those funds do get transferred and they, that we are able to support this and I can support it down the road. So, but for today, we'll be a no. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Madam and sir. I, I will work hard to get your support on this bill because for me, it's very critical. Representative McCarty. Yes, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Would you mind repeating again yeah. the amount that will be uh, transferred 
uh, or the carry forward and just the delineation yep. because I am going to support this proposal today because I understand the absolute critical need of protecting our early child care industry. And I think the cost of the state is going to be much greater if we don't have these uh, slots there and we don't have the workforce in place. So I'm, I will support it today, but I'm pleased to hear that uh, there's a lot of work being done on this so that it will be in the general budget going forward. But if you could just repeat those numbers, I would appreciate it. Right now, there is 74 million in carry forward, um, 10, uh, 5 million, no, 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 no. 25 million in, no, 35 million in ARPA, and that breaks down to 5 million for apprenticeship in ARPA, 20 in infantile in ARPA, and 10 million in, for care for kids in ARPA. We intend to move that. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Representative Reyes. Representative thank Reyes. You, madam. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I uh, am very strong support of this bill and I wanted to make sure that I uh, was complimentary of uh, Representative Robert Sanchez who's been talking about this for a long, long, long time. And this is in my estimation, one of those areas that we maybe mis mistook in a undervalue the actual time that we had. So I think this is uh, a, a small amount of money that we, that we're, we're putting towards this concern. And um, my question for you, Rep uh, Representative Walker, Madam Chair, is it, it, is there a possibility to get more ARPA dollars uh, than, we, than, than the 20? Right now we are talking about the um, set, we're talking about um, House Bill 5465 as we have it, um, and we will first secure that in the general fund before we talk about any other expansions. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Are there any more questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan votes in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes no. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Senator Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Senator Anwar votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes yes. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes no. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Uh, Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon, yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. 
Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. Rep Rep Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy is a no today while we finalize those numbers. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. And I was a yes on item seven too and I was yelling at you, yes, yes, yes. And my Zoom froze. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, I'll, I got you for seven. Thanks. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes yes. Senator McCrory. Representative Paris. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlov Tomato. Pavlov Tomato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. We got something in the Representative Reyes. Yes. Representative Reyes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Senator Summers votes yes. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield, in the affirmative. Representative Zalistowski. Representative Zalistowski votes no. Representative Rosario, have you connected? Representative Rosario in the affirmative. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, next item number nine, substitute for Senate Bill number five, file 516, an act concerning online dating operations, online child grooming and harassment, domestic violence training and protections for victims of families of violence and domestic violence. May and I have a motion? Senator Austin seconds this. Okay. Oh. Rep Representative Datham, um moves it and Senator Austin seconds it. Are there any comments or questions? Represented, I mean, Senator Austin. Uh, everything for SB5 is in the budget. Uh, the one time expenses are in ARPA and the ongoing expenses are in the general fund. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Are there any other questions or comments? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin. What is, um, I'm sorry, ma'am. Senator Austin. Your vote. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Thank you, ma'am. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes yes. One more time for me, please. Senator Minor votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative France. Representative France votes yes. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative 
Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes in the affirmative. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Uh, Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Dillon. Rep oh, Representative okay. Delaney votes yes. Thank you. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative <coughs> Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. And they still vote yes. There I go. <laughs> Thank you. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. If I may, I see Representative Betts. Would you like to vote now, sir, or wait? Representative Betts? Yes, I'd like to vote now. Thank you. Sorry, I was having a problem getting back in. Uh, I'd like to vote yes. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes yes. Representative Hayes. Hayes. One more time. Re Representative Hayes votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Kennedy votes yes. Okay. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Plesser. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxburg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes yes. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory is a yes. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlok D'Amato. Pavlok D'Amato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Repres Representative Reyes also votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zalastowski. Representative Zalastowski votes yes. Thank you. Senator Anwar, are you back on? No, okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Item number 10, substitute for Senate Bill 135, an act concerning accreditation standards for law enforcement units. May I have a motion? No one. Representative Nolan. Second. Second by Representative Howard. Are there any questions? R uh, Representative France, I'm looking for, rep uh, for Senator Austin. I believe this is a public safety bill. Uh, Representative France. 
Thank you, Madam Chair. And just, just one question is uh, whether this is currently uh, covered in the budget. Uh, I'm not very clear about exactly where it's being covered. Um, Rep Senator Austin, are you on? I know it's a work in progress and they've been working on it quite um, detail. I'm sorry, um, um, uh, Madam Chair. Um, okay. This bill number is which one? We're on the Senate bill, I mean, num number 10, Senate bill 135. Law enforcement unit or accreditation. Yes, th yes, this is in the general fund budget uh, uh, components um, of the budget um, relative to the positions. Um, uh, I do believe in it, and anything that's not in the budget, um, we'll be working on through you, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Senator Representative France. I guess I'm confused. The report we had from OFA that it wasn't currently in the the budget. That's why I was asking the question. Madam Chair, through through you, Rep Senator Austin. Since appropriations ended, we have um, put uh, more items in the budget, sir. So uh, relative to the fiscal notes, they may not be uh, because they write on actual action. They don't write on uh, works that we have. Uh, we have already addressed some of these issues, and so um, I apologize for that. And I'm actually confused on exactly what everything has gone in on at which, at which point in the process, but um, I, I will certainly get back to you today uh, on where exactly those dollars are through you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Austin. It's very tough doing three budgets. <laughs> Senate, Representative but, Prince. Yeah, just, so just to be clear, in your assertion that since the budget came out of appropriations in the negotiations that have followed, that this uh, bill has been covered in the general fund allocation. Is that an accurate statement? That is that is an accurate statement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Chair. For that Thank reason, I will, I will support the bill. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Representative Howard. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. I just briefly want to say, you know, I, I'm looking at the uh, OFA report on this, and it uh, notes a potential saving for municipalities with a, with a minor fiscal note for the state. And I, I just want to speak to that potential savings. I, I've had, you know, extensive conversations with um, police chiefs and municipal leaders, from mayors to first selectmen, and so on throughout the state, uh, with varying um, numbers of concern relevant to the CALEA requirement under current law by 2025. Some municipalities report, you know, millions of dollars in, in anticipated uh, costs as a result of structural changes to buildings. Uh, that would need, be needed to meet this requirement. So while there, there is a minor fiscal note, uh, I hope my colleagues will support this this bill um, because it would be significant savings to many municipalities uh, across our state, uh, both in personnel, as I said, instructional changes and, and the cost to meet this requirement. So I'm in strong support of this. I hope my colleagues will join me. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, sir. Are there any other comments? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Thank you. Re Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes yes. Representative France. Representative France votes yes. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes on this one and the previous one too. I'm sorry I missed that. No, I can't. I'm in the middle of. <laughs> no, no worry. I'll call again. I'll... Thank you. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes yes. Representative Polinski. I'm sorry, Madam Administrator. Representative Polinski votes yes. Thank you. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. One more time, please. Candelaria votes yes. Candelaria votes yes. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Yay. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. 
Rep Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gibson votes yes. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes yes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes is happy to vote yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser passed. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxembourg. Representative Luxembourg votes yes on this item and all prior agenda items. No, sir, can't do that. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes yes. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes yes. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes in the affirmative. Representative Pavlok D'Amato. Pavlok D'Amato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes yes. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims votes in the affirmative. Senator Summers. Senator Summers votes yes. Representative Tursiak. Representative Tursiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes yes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Administrator. Next item number 11, substitute for Senate Bill 459, an act concerning the correction advisory committee, the use of isolated confinement and transparency for conditions of incarceration. May I have a motion? I'll move by Rep. Porter. Second. Moved by Rep. Porter and seconded by- Second uh, by Rep. Second by Senator Winfield. Repre uh, Senator Austin. Well, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair. And this bill is, uh, is a compilation of a number of different issues. And um, right now, uh, there is an agreement between the governor's office uh, and the advocates for the bill and uh, the Department of Correction uh, Commissioner have all come to an agreement uh, that uh, compiles uh, the differences relative uh, uh, to uh, further use of, of solitary and other issues. And the fiscal note is uh, it is generally covered in the general fund side of the budget through you, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam. Are there any questions? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. One more time, please. 
Representative Walker votes yes. Ah, uh, there you are. Senator Hartley. Representative Dayton. Representative Dayton votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan votes in the affirmative. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes yes. Representative France. Representative France votes yes. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes yes. Oh, I beg your pardon. I, I, are we on? Are we on Senate Bill four five nine? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll vote no. Thank you. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes no. Representative Candelaria. Candelaria votes yes. One more time. Candelaria votes yes. Thank you. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney in the affirmative. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes yes. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Representative Gibson. Representative Gibson votes yes. One more time. Ah, there you are. Thank you. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez votes yes. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes yes. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes yes. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes yes. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes yes. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes yes. Kennedy votes yes. Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser votes yes. One more time, please. Lesser votes yes. Thank you. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. One more time. Senator Lopes votes yes. Thank you. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg, yes. One more time, please. Luxembourg, yes. Thank you. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes yes. Senator McCrory. Senator McCrory votes in the affirmative. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlov Damato. Pavlov Damato votes no. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. One more time, please. Representative Ryan votes yes. Thank you. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Representative Sims. 
Senator Summers. Senator Summers votes yes. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes yes. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield, in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes yes. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Representative Belinsky, sir. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Administrator, um, um, I seem to have missed part of the conversation, uh, so I'd like to just possibly change my vote. Madam, Madam Chair, um, is, uh, um, is Senate Bill 459 covered in the budget that, uh, you know, that we're working on? I'm, I'm sorry, Representative Belinsky, I can't understand what you're asking. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, all, I'm, all I'm asking is um, uh, when, the, uh, when we're doing Q&A, um, is Senate 459 covered? Um, is it funded in the budget? It is going to be funded because it's an agreement three, through three different parties, the governor's office, the administrate, uh, the um, Department of Corrections and the General Assembly. All right, because of it, because of it being funded, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Madam Administrator, I, I, would, uh, I would like to change my vote to a yay. Got it, sir, thank you. Thank you. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes, your hand is up. I'm sorry, Madam Chair. Sorry about that. Oh, you you don't no comment? Okay, no comment. Thank you, Madam Administrator. You're Thank welcome, you. Madam Chair. If someone could lower Representative Reyes's hands, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Next item number and item number 15, substitute for House Bill number 5441. File 418 and act adopting the recommendations of the task force of the study of the state workforce and retiring employees. May I have a motion? May so I move. have a motion? So moved by Rep. Warden. And seconded? Second. Uh, Re Representative Luxembourg. Thank you. Are there any questions? Representative France. Yes, thank, thank you, Madam Chair. I just one question. Uh, what, what is the status of this uh, pause with respect to the budget? Representative Porter. Thank you, Madam Chair. This is a work in progress and we are definitely working to address the um, fiscal issue on this bill. Representative France. Thank you, Madam Chair. And for, for that reason, while it's still a work in progress, I'll be flagging this for the now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Are there any other questions or comments? If not, Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes yes. Senator Hartley. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan in the affirmative. Senator Minor. It looks like we are live on Facebook. Senator Minor votes no. Representative, oh, I'm sorry. Senator Minor, one more time for me. I didn't see you. Can you see me now? Yes, sir. Thank you. I vote no. Got it. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes no. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky uh, votes no as a flag and is rooting for Representative Porter to get it into the budget. Representative Candelaria. Representative Candelaria in the affirmative. Senator Chicarella. Representative Curry. Representative Curry votes yes. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. One more time, please. 
Yes, Madam Administrator. Representative Delaney votes yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Got it. Thank you. Representative Gibson. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Representative Gonzalez. Gonzalez vote yes. One more time for me. Representative Gonzalez vote yes. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Joshua Hall votes yes. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Representative Howard votes no. Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Votes no. Kennedy votes no. Senator, Kush Senator Kushner. Senator Kushner votes yes. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser votes yes. Senator Lopes. Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes no. Senator McCrory. Representative Perry. Senator McCrory votes yes. Gotcha, thank you. Representative Paris. Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavel Akhtamato. Pavel Akhtamato votes yes. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Rep Representative Rosario in the affirmative. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. One more time, please. Representative Ryan votes yes. Thank you. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Senator Summers. Representative Tersiak. Representative Tersiak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. One more time, please. Representative Wilson votes no. Thank you, sir. Rep Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield in the affirmative. And Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Administrator. Next, item number 17, substitute for House Bill number 5356, file 458, an act concerning pandemic pay for essential order, workers. Order. And, and I need a second. 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 Second, second by Senator Kushner. Um, are there any questions? I just want to say that the Speaker of the House and Representative Porter have been working vigilantly on this and they are thinking they're getting close to the resolution with this bill. So I ask for your support to vote it out as we work on this. Thank you. Um, I saw Representative France, I thought, um, maybe not. Uh, Representative Howard. 
If I can, ma'am, I'd like to defer to the ranking member first, then I'll be happy to speak after. Uh, yes, Senator Minor. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So um, when you say they're getting close to an agreement, how much of this proposal is currently in the budget? Currently in the budget, it is not in the budget. That's why they're, they're working on this to get the resolution. And uh, thank you for that answer. And um, so it's not, it's not even the old appropriations budget that came out of the appropriations committee in some form, meaning carry forward dollars, ARPA okay. dollars. No, it is not. Money from the sky, nothing. Okay, thank you. Representative Howard. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. And according to the fiscal report here, it looks like it, this would put us over the spending cap. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, in the form that it, the form the budget is in now, yes. But again, this is a work in progress because we will not put out a budget that, that is over the cap. Understood. I, and I understand that things are work in progress on a tight time schedule this year. My other question is the numbers. I, so we, we're allocating seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and we're, as I read it, it's two thousand dollars for any full time employee who worked during the pandemic, and a thousand dollars for part time employees. Mm -hmm. Does the does the math add up? To, I, I feel like we're going to have more essential employees than we can cover seven hundred fifty million dollars. Is that at that number? I feel like it's not going to make sense. Um, at, like I said, it is a work in progress. I can't, I'm not in those conversations. They are working on that now. And we'll be glad to, once we get that, pass that information on to you. Well, I, I would, I, I'm going to not vote on this because the, this bill, um, frankly, I, I would gain from it personally, individually, um, as an essential worker who worked during that time. So I'm going to recuse myself from the vote. I thank you for the answer to the questions. Thank you, sir. Madam Administrator, so noted. So noted. So noted. Repres I mean, Senator Minor. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Just as a clarification, so I think uh, Rep. Howard uh, took the position that uh, he might gain as an essential worker. Is the scope of this bill uh, to make payments to non-state employees? Uh, Representative Porter? Um, I believe that is the case, Senator Minor. And so just, just so I fully understand what I'm voting on, uh, I can remember back at the beginning of the pandemic, um, DCD was heavily involved in uh, establishing a list of individuals that were uh, deemed to be essential. And as I recall, that included pet groomers, uh, auto mechanics. I mean, the list is extraordinarily extensive. Um, so I, I'll just tell you from the, the brief, take a piece from the summary that the way we defined the essential worker was there were two ways under this bill to qualify as an essential worker. One way considers whether someone worked during a declared emergency uh, with certain jobs and other just considers the job type. So if you work during the pandemic, if it was the CDC, um, immunizations recommended, um, and then they include cybersecurity, infrastructure security agencies, and uh, anyone covered by the governor's executive order number 7H. Well, I, I thank uh, the gentlelady for her uh, response. And I um, look at, we're gonna, we're gonna vote on a, a $2 billion CBAC agreement, uh, I'm assuming at some point today. Uh, and, you know, one of the underpinnings of what we're going to do and what the House did yesterday is being able to represent that the money is available, right? And if this is $750 million, I'm almost stuttering saying it, um, 
and we're not exactly sure who will, who will receive it. Um, to be honest, in all the time that I've been on the Appropriations Committee, uh, a week and a half before the end of the session, this was the place where, where great ideas uh, with no money go to die. And uh, if we vote this bill out, I think it raises a significant question as to the validity of whether or not the state has the resources to even fund the CBAC agreement that was approved. Um, and so that's the reason for my thank you. Thank you, sir. And I, I, I hear you, but uh, each day we find our revenues are changing. And I think that the speaker has been making a real point of trying to look at the revenues to see how we would be balancing this pro this um this bill if we can. So I believe that it, it's going to you will hear an understanding from the speaker and Representative Porter as this completes its cycle. Well I, I appreciate that Madam Chair. Um, but even with the magic wand of the speaker, I don't think you can go back and reset the cap. No you so, can't you, you just can't fit this much of a wedge in a $6 million uh, gap between our spending cap, as the Appropriations Committee acknowledged it, and, um, and our spending limit out of the Appropriations Committee. And I've heard a whole bunch of great ideas today, some of which I've supported, mm -hmm. but I, I honestly don't get much comfort uh, by some press conference that might be called uh, to try and create magic. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Representative Dathan. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. And I appreciate in, um, that all of my colleagues are working hard to make this uh, work within our appropriations budget because I agree it is very important. But I do have concerns uh, about the amount of the appropriation, but I'm going to vote yes today to make sure it gets to the committee so we can continue the discussion. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Madam Administrator, please call the roll. Senator Austin. Senator Austin votes in the affirmative. Representative Walker. Representative Walker votes in the affirmative. Senator Hartley. Senator Hartley in the affirmative. Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan votes yes. One more time for me, please, ma'am. Representative Dathan votes yes. Thank, Thank you. you, Madam Chair. Representative Nolan. Representative Nolan. Senator Minor. Senator Minor votes no. Representative France. Representative France votes no. Representative Abercrombie. Representative Abercrombie votes yes. Senator Doherty Abrams. Senator Anwar. Senator Anwar votes yes. Representative Baker. Representative Baker votes yes. Representative Betts. Representative Betts votes no. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky is a nay. Representative Candelaria. Representative Candelaria votes yes. Senator Chicarella. Senator Chicarella votes no. Representative Curry. Representative Curry. Not Representative Curry votes yes. Mm, one more time for me, please. <laughs> Representative Curry votes yes. Thank you. Representative Delaney. Representative Delaney votes yes. Representative Dillon. Representative Dillon votes yes. Representative Felipe. Representative Felipe votes yes. Representative Ferraro. Representative Ferraro votes no. Senator Flexer. Representative Gibson. Representative Gilchrist.
Representative Gonzalez. Representative Gonzalez vote, yes. Got it. Um, Representative Gonzalez vote, yes. I have you. Representative Haddad. Representative Haddad votes yes. Representative Carol Hall. Representative Carol Hall votes no. Representative Joshua Hall. Representative Joshua Hall votes yes. One, ah, uh, there you are, thank you. Representative Harrison. Representative Harrison votes no. Representative Hayes. Representative Hayes votes no. Representative Howard. Uh, Madam Administrator, I, I'd like to recuse myself. This, this That's bill. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. you. My apologies. Um, Representative Johnson. Representative Johnson votes yes. Representative Kennedy. Kennedy votes no. Oh, gotcha. Senator Kushner. Senator, Senator Kushner. Sorry, Senator Kushner votes yes. Thank you. Senator Lesser. Senator Lesser votes yes. One more time, please. Senator Lesser votes yes. Thank you. Senator Lopes. Sen Senator Lopes votes yes. Representative Luxembourg. Luxembourg votes yes. Representative McCarty. Representative McCarty votes no. As far as your eyes bleeding for 40 hours, which is Senator McCarty votes yes. Just chill out and rest and recover. Enjoy the fruits of your life. You know, I'm not his dad. I'm Representative Paris votes yes. Representative Pavlov Tomato. votes yes. Senator McCory. Senator McCrinkin. I'm sorry, Representative Pavlov Tomato. Would you do that one more time for me? Pavlov <laughs> Tomato votes yes. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, I'm here. Now do you? I do. Thank you. Pavlov Tomato votes yes. Thank you, ma'am. Representative Porter. Representative Porter votes in the affirmative. Representative Reyes. Representative Reyes votes in the affirmative. Representative Rosario. Representative Rosario votes yes. One more time, please. Representative Rosario votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Ryan. Representative Ryan votes yes. One more time, please. Representative Ryan votes yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Sanchez. Representative Sanchez votes yes. Representative Sims. Senator Summers. Senator Summers votes no. Representative Terciak. Representative Terciak votes yes. Representative Wilson. Representative Wilson votes no. Senator Winfield. Senator Winfield, in the affirmative. Representative Zawistowski. Representative Zawistowski votes no. Thank you. Is there anyone who would like to cast their vote? Who hasn't previously done so? Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam, Madam Administrator. Uh, Madam Administrator, uh, I just want to um, let everybody know that we are still um, going to be open until the call of the, of the Senate. And Madam Administrator, what is the um, what is coming up for us next week? On Wednesday, we will be holding a public hearing followed by a committee meeting on the personal care assistance um, collective bargaining agreement. Okay, so Wednesday it is, um, the, and we have nothing before that, correct? We have nothing before that. We will um, be scheduling and briefing by OFA for the collective bargaining subcommittee and for the committee leaders. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And um, I believe all those people that that did not, uh, that are missing votes, um, that we will have, uh, that they will they will be able to talk to you for uh, right after this. Uh, Senator Austin. Um, thank you very much, um, Madam uh, 
Chair, um, I, I would just like to be cautious of not staying open to the call of the session because the session might not be called until uh, one o'clock or later, um, depending on what time um, the uh, majority leader and the Senate president get here. It may be called by noon, but I'm just thinking that we don't wanna leave it open till the call of the session because then Madam Administrator would be hanging around until the session is called. And so I don't know if we can word it um, uh, that as soon as uh, people have voted, because she's going to probably, by the number of hands that are up, she's probably going to need a, a half an hour. So mm -hmm. um, I, I was thinking maybe we could say uh, till, till noon, um, uh, or whatever she feels, or 12.15. Um, that way, um, you know, 12.15 12, or the call of the session, whichever is, is earlier. But I don't want to leave her hanging around if, uh, something happens in the Senate, we don't go into session uh, earlier because then people have that opportunity to change their vote, uh, Madam Chair. So I just don't know if that, that would be more appropriate. Of course, it's between you and Madam Administrator, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Well, since, you, since you're in the Senate chamber, we, we, we are very appreciative for your honesty. Madam Administrator? I think we can get this accomplished by noon, Madam Chair. Okay, then let's 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 hold it to noon. So okay. votes will be open until noon. Please respect the administrator and everybody. Have a good afternoon. We will be in recess until twelve o'clock. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Can I just mine isn't related to a vote. So can I ask a question? Sure. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Mm -hmm. I had a clarification question on HB five two seven two. Um, there was a statement made um, that this was originally, it was said that it was in the budget, then it was said that it was within available funds. Um, I guess my question, I may change my vote depending on if it indeed is in the budget, because OFA is saying it isn't in the budget. So. Is, if it's in the budget, I'm staying with a yes. If it's within available funds, I'm going to switch my vote. It is in the budget. Um, it will. I will make sure that you will get a, a, a statement exactly from where it is because this is a critical bill and it was something that was in another bill mm -hmm. and we found out that it was not in the bill. So we had to move very quickly to put it back into the budget in another place. That is the juggling that we are doing with all three revenues right now. And uh, this is something that we have committed to and we just have to make sure we, it is covered in one that is going to give the towns the support. So I will make sure we get that to you, all right? Understood, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank I appreciate you. that, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Everybody have a good afternoon. Thank you. Hmm? Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. You too. Hey, right. See you next Madam week. Madam Administrator. All right, all right, all right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's my show now. Thank you very much for saying goodbye and wishing everybody a happy weekend, but we got to get down to business. So, um, Senator Lesser. Yes, ma'am. If you know what, if you know what votes you've missed, let me know. I have you I, missing, have you missing uh, item number five, House Bill 5372. I vote the lesser in the affirmative. I have you missing item number six, House Bill 5393. Senator Lester in the affirmative. I have you missing item number seven, House Bill 5283. Lester in the affirmative. Item number eight, five, four, six, five. Lester in the affirmative. Item nine, Senate Bill 5. Lester in the affirmative. Item 10, Senate Bill 135. Lester in the affirmative.
All right, Senator Lesser, you're all set. Thank you much. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Senator Onwar. Thank you, Madam Administrator. Item number seven, House Bill 5283. Senator Onwar votes yes. Um, item number nine, Senate Bill 5. Senator Onwar votes yes. You are all set, Senator Onwar. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, who's next in the queue? Representative Abercrombie. Thank you, Madam Administrator. I think I only missed number one and two if they were called. Okay, item number one. Senate Bill 209. Abercrombie, yes. And item number two, Senate Bill 426. Abercrombie, yes. Thank you, Madam Administrator. Thank you, ma'am. Um, could we just, could someone please let Representative Sims and Senator Minor in, please? Okay, who we got next in the queue? Representative McCarty. Thank you very much. All right, the first one I have for you is item number two, because I believe you voted on item number one. That's correct, yeah. So the first one I have for you is item number two, Senate Bill 426. That, that's, I vote no. Okay. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. I vote yes. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Yes. Item number six, House Bill 5393. Yes. And then you're caught up, I think, right? Yes, I, I, I was. I yeah. was. Thank Great. you so very much, Madam Thank Administrator. You. Thank you. Ma'am. Okay, next to the queue is Representative Power. Uh, thank you, Madam Administrator. I think I got all my votes, but uh, item number six, five, three, nine, three, I'd like to change that to a yes. I inadvertently voted no. So I'd like to change yes on five, three, nine, three. Got it, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, next to the to the queue is um, Representative Reyes. Thank, thank you, Madam Administrator. I believe I missed the very first vote. You did, sir. How would you like to vote? In the affirmative, please. All right. And you're sure that that's the only one? Yeah, I'll wait till you check. I'm going to. Thank you, ma'am. You got it. You are all set. Thank you, sir. Thank all you, right. Madam. President. Thank you. Thank you. Is Representative Luxembourg. Thank you, Madam Administrator. I believe I, I missed item as number one through six on the agenda. All right. So item number one, Senate Bill 209. Luxembourg votes yes. Okay. Um, item number two, Senate Bill 426. Luxembourg votes yes. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Luxembourg votes yes. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Luxembourg votes yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Luxembourg votes yes. And then you're good, I think. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, next in the queue is Senator Hartley. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, Madam Administrator, my apologies here because um, I did miss uh, most of this. 
Okay. So item number one, Senate Bill 209. Yes, Hartley in the affirmative. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Hartley in the negative. Okay. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Uh, Hartley in the affirmative. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Hartley in the affirmative. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Hartley in the affirmative. Item number six, House Bill 5393. In the affirmative. Item number seven, House Bill 5283. In the affirmative. Item number eight, House Bill 5465. In the affirmative. Item number nine, Senate Bill five. In the affirmative. Item number 10, Senate Bill 135. Affirmative. Item number 11, Senate Bill 459. In the affirmative. Item 15, House Bill 5441. Affirmative. And I think we got you on the last vote. Yes, yeah, so you're all set, Senator Hartley. I thank you again. My apologies, Susan. Okay, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, next to the queue is Representative Haddad. Good morning, sir. You ready? Uh, yes, I am. Yay, okay. So. First is item number one, Senate Bill 209. Yes. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Yes. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Yes. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Yes. Item number six, 5393. I think that's the last one I missed and I'll vote yes on that one as well. Thank you, Madam Administrator. Thank you, sir. Okay, next in the queue is Senator Summers. Hi, ma'am. Hi, can you okay. hear me? I got you, but I just need to see you. Okay, somehow my phone has um, switched to safe driving mode and I'm not driving. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to do it. If not, I might have to leave and come back. Okay. All right, so we will go on to Representative Candelaria. I believe I just missed the first one. Yes, sir, how would you like to vote? Yes. And you were right, you're great from that point on. Yep. Okay, thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, ma'am. All right, next in the queue is Representative Harris. Let's get to the fourth one. You missed the Okay, Representative Harris, item number five, House Bill 5272. Representative Harris. Representative Harris. My apologies, Sue. Uh, yes, I missed two votes, if I'm not mistaken. So the first one is item number five, House Bill 5372. Yes, Representative Harris votes yes on that. Okay. Another one is item number five, House Bill 5393. Yes, Representative Harris votes in the affirmative on that as well. All right, you also missed item number seven, House Bill 5283. Representative Paris votes yes. Okay, 
All right, sir, you all, are all set. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Administrator. You are welcome. Next in the queue is Senator Chicarello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Good, good. Good. So, item number one, Senate Bill 209. No. Okay. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Uh, Senator Douglas, no. Okay. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Senator Chicarello votes no. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number six, House Bill 5393. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number seven, House Bill 5283. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number eight, House Bill 5465. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number nine, Senate Bill 5. Senator Chicarello votes yes. Item number 10, Senate Bill 135. Senator Chicarello votes yes. And item number 11, Senate Bill 459. Senator Chicarello votes no. Okay. Item number 15, House Bill 5441. Um, what number was that? I'm sorry. Item number 15, House Bill 5441. Uh, Senator Chicarello votes no. And I got you on the last one. So you're all set, sir. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. All right. Next in the queue is Representative Delaney. All right. I'm checking for you. Representative Delaney, you are all set. Yes, Madam Chair. Are you sure I didn't miss the first one? No, you did not. Roger that. All right. Uh, thank you, Madam Administrator. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, sir. You too. All right. Next in the queue is Senator Lopes. Hello. Thanks so much. You have a wonderful weekend. Uh, somewhere. No. I'm here. Come on the camera. I'm on the camera. There you are. <laughs> there you are. Well, Senator McCurry has been fighting to get on, so. I'm here. Uh, item, item number seven is the only one I missed. Um, I'm a yes. Oh, good. I'm just waiting to my okay. turn to. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. You are Driving. welcome. Okay, next in the queue is Representative Sims. Are you with me, sir? I'm with you, Madam Administrator. Thank you. Nice to see you. All right, let me. All right, sir. Item number 11. Senate Bill 459. Rep. Sims is in the affirmative. Okay. Item number 15, House Bill 5441. Rep. Sims is in the affirmative. And item number 17, House Bill 5356. Rep. Sims is in the affirmative. Great. Thank you, sir. 
All right. Next in the queue is Representative Gibson. Good morning, sir. Administrator. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Good. Item number one, Senate Bill 209. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number eight, House Bill 5465. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number nine, Senate Bill five. Representative Gibson votes yes. Item number 15, House Bill 5441. Representative Gibson votes yes. And item number 17, House Bill 5356. Representative Gibson votes yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, you're welcome. Have an outstanding weekend. Thank you, you too. Thank you. All right, Senator Summers, you're back with me. Yes. Okay. I think I missed votes one through like eight because I was in the car. Okay. So um, let's start with item number one, Senate Bill 209. Okay, Summers votes no. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Summers votes no. Item number three, Senate Bill 417. Summers votes no. Item four, House Bill 5272. Summers votes yes. Item five, House Bill 5372. Summers votes yes. Item six, House Bill 5393. Summers votes yes. You got seven, you got Okay, uh, number nine, Senate Bill 5. Summers votes yes. Item number 15, House Bill 5441. Summers votes no. Okay. And I got you on the last one. Okay, you're all set. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, next in the queue is Representative Gilchrist. Hello, I think I missed the last two. Okay. I missed the last one. Oh. Okay, House Bill 5356. Representative Gilchrist votes yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, next in the queue is Representative Gonzalez. Um, I think that I missed the first one. So you nine. did. Yep. Yeah, that's a yes. Okay. And thank you. Thank you. You want me to double check? I think you're, I think you're good on everything else. So let me just double check. I'll feel better. Yeah, you're fine. Thank okay, you. Nancy. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you too. All right, next in the queue is Representative Pavlov D'Amato. Okay, the first one I have uh, for you would be item number two. Two is a yes. Okay. Let me just get rid of my mark. Okay, item number three. Three is a yes. And I, I'd like to change my vote on number four. Okay. To a no. Got it. Next one is seven. 
is number seven, that's correct. That would be a yes. Okay. You're good on eight, you're good on nine, you're good on 10, you're good on 11, 16, and 17. You're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ah, Senator Miner's next in the queue. I think it's uh, 5272, maybe. Item number four. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And we think that, let me just double check that that's the only one. I'll just go, uh, no, item number six. 5393. Yes. Okay. I think that's it. I think there were just two. Thank you. So I'll feel better. Hold on. I'll feel better if I look. If I look. Okay. You're good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Senator McCurry. Well, well, there, Susan. I think I've only missed one vote. Ha, ha, ha. So, item number one, sir. Senate Bill 209. I'm going to say, hey, have a great day. Yay. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's. let's <laughs> Let me let me feel good about my day. Okay. God help! Oh no no no! There's another one. I knew there was another one. Oh oh oh! Bad sir. Bad sir. I'm a yes with that one also. <laughs> Susan, when you coming in? Monday and Tuesday, I'll be here. Yes. All right. You're good. All right, you got it. All right, thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, Representative Paul, how are you? How's it going? All right. So item number one, Senate Bill 209. Yes. Item number two, Senate Bill 426. Yes. Item three, Senate Bill 417. Yes. Item number four, House Bill 5272. Yes. Item number five, House Bill 5372. Yes. Item number six, House Bill 5393. Yes. Item number seven, the House Bill 5283. Yes. Item number eight, House Bill 5465. Yes. Nine, Senate Bill 5. Yes. 10. Yes. 35. 11, 459. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Anyone else in the queue? Huh? Yes, Representative Nolan. Hi. Hi, Susan. Hi there. Need to Hold on, I gotta turn my volume up. So I think I missed a few things. I was trying to. Yeah, you missed uh, I actually just one. You missed um, the last bill we voted on Senate uh, number item seventeen, House Bill fifty three fifty six. Fifty three fifty six. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, that's for the essential workers. Right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for I'm gonna vote yes. Um, uh, you talk to um, legal in regards to me voting in regards to essential workers being a concern, but they said that there was no concern. So I'm going to vote yes for this. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. All you right. have a great weekend. Get some rest. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye bye. Right. You too. Bye bye. All right. Appropriations committee members, those of you who are missing votes, ah. Senator Flexer, let her in quickly, please. We've got two minutes. All right, Senator Flexer, turn the camera on and let's rock it. Hi, Madam Administrator. 
Let's roll. Okay, so the first one is uh, item number two, four two six. Senator Flexer votes yes from a parked car. Three. Senate Bill four seven. Senator Flexer votes yes. Four. Fifty two Senator Flexer. Senator Flexer votes yes. Okay. Five. Fifty three seventy two. Senator Flexer votes yes. Six. Fifty three ninety three. Senator Flexer votes yes. And the last one, item 17, 53, 56. Senator Flexer votes yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, too. All right, the and the Appropriations Committee meeting is deemed adjourned.